Another problem at high altitude is a phenomenon known as high altitude retinal hemorrhage, also known as HARH, or HAR. And uh, this is a phenomenon that occurs probably more frequently than most people realize. If you happen to have an ophthalmoscope, for example, you're a base camp doctor, and you look at people's eyes coming off of high places, their retinas will show these little areas of hemorrhage. Now, as you can see in this slide, this is a climber's retina. And you see the optic disc coming into the center of the retina. You can see that, can't you? And uh, you see this darker area, which is called the macula, the area of central vision. That's normal. But all of these blotches, you can see those too, should not be there. And those are retinal hemorrhages. It's kind of creepy if you imagine that that's what the back of the eye looks like. It makes you wonder what our brains look like when we're at extreme altitude. And a good number of climbers will develop this. The treatment for high altitude retinal hemorrhage is basically oxygen if you have it. You usually don't have enough of it on a big mountain. It's primarily descent. I saw a really bad case of retinal hemorrhage in a Canadian doctor on Everest one year. I said, you've got this massive premacular hemorrhage. You need to go down. But this climber was a doctor. So what do you think he did? You got it right. He went up.